What's up, everybody? So today we're going to do an array merging sorting sort of problem. And what we're actually going to try and do is take two arrays, both of which are sorted, and merge one array into the other without using any sort of external buffers or temporary variables or anything like that. So let's go ahead and dig in and here's a simple example that we have and as you can see in this case we have extra space in the end of our primary array which is going to be a and so we have enough space in a that we can add all of the elements of b into that so we are basically i mean it should be pretty clear what we're doing we're going to take each we're going to take the minimum element of each and then add them into a single array. And so let's think about how we would actually solve this problem. So first we want to ask what types we're actually going to have in these arrays. And it doesn't really matter. It's not really going to affect our problem too much. But worth double checking, I'm just going to use integers in this case. And now let's think about how we're actually going to solve the problem. So we're going to start with these two arrays. I'll just copy these down here. And what we want to do is we're going to be maintaining this first array and actually copying these elements into index indices in this first array. So the first thing that we could do would be to just, you know, create pointers to the beginning of each one. We know how to do merge arrays together because we do that for merge sort all the time. But we are just going to create two pointers like this and you know we'll first add the smaller of the two element and then we'll increase increment this pointer and then we'll add this but it gets a little more complicated since we don't have an auxiliary array we're going to have to in this case we're going to add two here and then we maybe are going to move copy all of the elements one further in the array and that's one possible way we could do it but that's not going to be super efficient because we're going to every time we copy in an element from our B array, we're going to have to shift the elements of our A array that are remaining. So that would work, although it's going to take us a lot of time and energy. So what's another approach we could take? Another way that we could do this would be to actually shift everything in our A array to start with. So we could shift all of this stuff to the end of our array like this. And then we know that, and then we would put our pointer here and then we would do what we were doing. We, and then we would also have a pointer here to the beginning of this array or the next unset element. And then basically we would, you know, take this element and put it here and then increment this. We would take this element put it here and increment this and we, we're going to do the same comparison and copy three and what we're going to have as a result is that no matter what we're going to have the case where we're going to overwrite the we're not going to overwrite any element in the a array until it has already been copied into the front of our array so let's like let's imagine this case where we have you know one two three here and we have, in this case, we would have 0, 0, 0, 4, 5, 6, like this. Now, we're going to copy these. And we know that since we're copying this to the very end of the array, there's always going to be enough space at the beginning for all of the elements of B without overwriting any in A. And so that would work as well. And But we still have to copy all the elements to the end of the array. And it doesn't really make that much sense. So what I think is going to be the most efficient solution for us to do here, and let's go back to what we had before. So was one, three, five, and two, four, six, and zero, zero, zero. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually start at the end of the array and I'm going to build backwards because we're starting with the end of the array is already empty. So if we add elements from here into the end of the array, it's not going to overwrite anything. And we have the same effect as we just talked about going the other direction where there's enough space at the end of the array for all of the elements of the B array. So we're never going to overwrite an element in the A array that hasn't already been copied somewhere. So in this case, we would start with our pointer at the end like this, 
and we're going to we're going to have also these pointers are both going to start at the end because we're going to basically compare them and we're just doing the opposite we're comparing to see which is larger so in this case we get that six is larger so we copy that here and then decrement this pointer and then we get five is larger so we put five and decrement this and we also in this case we should be decrementing this one as well and now we get four is larger we put four here then decrement this one three is larger so we copy three and this gets decremented and so we copy three to here and we've already written the five right we've already written the five to here so it's not a problem that's getting overwritten we decrement that one one more and you can get the idea of how this is going to just we finish this out we copy the two we're going to decrement this one by one we're going to copy the two to here and then we're done and a couple little things to take note of once we've copied all of the elements of our b array we're done right because we know that the array is already sorted so let's go if we go back one more time to the example where we have full uh one two well this is a slightly different example if we have one two three and zero 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 and we have four five six here so we're going to copy these to the end of this A array. We're going to, they're going to keep being larger. So we're going to basically end up with this and the pointer is going to be here. And then we also, we're actually going to end up with both pointers to this array are going to be here. And then we're just, we would end up decrementing them together and we're just going to copy each element to itself. So that's going to be a slight optimization we can do, but Regardless, let's go ahead and jump into the code for this problem. So I'm going to create, a, it's going to be public, it's going to be void because we're just filling in the array, the A array. We're modifying the existing array and we're not going to return a new array. And I'm going to call it merge arrays. And then I'm going to have a int array A, int array B. And then I'm also, so we have particularly with the A array, we don't actually know where the end of the content of the array is without explicitly searching for it. And let's imagine that we had, you know, A was, here, I'll just, here. let's imagine that our A was zero, 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 but our, but these zero, these zeros are just empty spaces, but these zeros are actually supposed to represent, um, you know they're supposed to represent values in our array so we need to actually have a value we need to keep track of what the length of the values in the array is so i'm going to have a int a length and an int b length and these are just going to be you know in this case in this case here a length is three and b length is three but it doesn't really matter too much we can go ahead and we're going to wait. We would probably want to do some bounds checking, make sure that both arrays, you could make sure that a, that the length of the a array is equal to or greater than the length of a plus the length of B. So, you know, you might say, um, if a length plus B length is greater than a dot length, then we're going to throw an exception. And I'm not going to actually, you know, you could do whatever you want here, basically. But we're going to want to check for that. We might want to check that both of these values are positive. You know, I'm not going to write out all of this stuff, but it's stuff that you can talk about with your interviewer to show them that you're keeping track and you're aware that there are these boundary conditions and that you need to verify the input before you do it so not worrying about that let's we're going to say that we're going to create these two pointers so let me go back here and one more time i'm going to do one three five zero 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 and this is going to be two four six and then we're going to end up with this we want to end up with that pointer here and this one here and then we're going to end up with this one 
here, right? So int a index, which is going to be this pointer, is going to be equal to a length minus one, right? And same with b index is going to be b length minus one. And finally, we need our like merge index, which is going to be this one that's going to keep track in the a array. So we're going to call that is just going to be a length plus b length minus one. So just like that. And we're doing the minus ones because the indexing starts at zero, obviously, but that's just, and that is something that you want to keep in mind when you're doing this. Just be careful of those one off errors because they can really throw you for a loop. So now what we want to do is I'm just going to do a while loop and I'm going to go through and while both of these are greater than or equal to zero, I'm going to keep going. Because as long as we have both of these arrays still have values that haven't been copied, I want to keep copying. So I'm going to say while a index is greater than or equal to zero and b index is greater than or equal to zero. then I want to, I'm going to compare the two values, right? So I'm going to say if a, a index is greater than b, b index, then I want to copy a, right? Because we're doing, we're going from greatest to smallest. So in this case, I want to copy the value in the a array. So I'm going to say a merge index is going to be equal to a a index. And then I need to decrement a index. And I also need to decrement merge index. But I'm going to do that at the end because we're going to do that regardless. So I'm going to do that outside our if statement. I'm going to put merge index minus minus here. So then we're also going to have if a is not greater, if a is not greater than b, then b is greater than a. So our else is just going to be the inverse of what we did before. So we're going to say a, but we're still adding it to the a array, right? So don't forget that it's easy to get a little tripped up here. So a merge index is equal to b b index right so we're copying the element from the b array into the a array and then we're going to say b index minus minus so now that we've done that now we're going we're going to break out of this when we're when I, one of these pointers is pointing to negative ones or is out of the range so but if that pointer is the a that's out of the range of the array, we're still going to need to copy the rest of the b elements over because what that's going to mean is that we're basically going to have all of the elements from the a array here and then we're going to still have to copy the element some elements from the b array. So, but if it's the other way around, if we've copied all the elements from the b array, then we know that as we talked about earlier, the a the elements in the a array are already in the right array in sorted order, so we don't have to do anything. So, we're just going to say while b index is greater than 0. It's greater than or equal to 0. And remember, we don't have to actually do any like if it's greater than or 0 because if if b is less than zero, it, this is just going to loop zero times. So we don't have to do any weird conditionals there. And we're just going to say a merge index equals b, b index. And then b, we're going to decrement both of them. So b index minus minus and merge index minus minus and that's all there is to it and we don't even need to return everything anything because we've already saved our data in the array the way we want it to so let's go through and just make sure that this works the way we expect it to so let's use this <coughs> example that we have from earlier so we're going to say 
we're gonna call merge arrays of, I'm gonna, I'll go ahead and say this equals, A equals this, B equals this, and fix these. And so we're gonna call merge arrays of A, B, and then three and three, right? Because they're both of length three. So we're gonna say A index equals two and B index equals two and A index plus B index and whoops, I messed this up. This should be merge index. So merge index is three plus three minus one, which is five. So we have merge index is five uh, a index equals two and B index equals two, which is what we expect. And so let's go here. And so both the indices are greater than zero. And in this case, we have A, A index is not greater than B, B index. So we're going to say A merge index equals B, B index. So A merge index, which is this equals B, B index. So we set that equal to six and then we decrement B index and then we also decrement merge index and then we're going to come again we're going to say a in this time a a index is greater than b b index so we're going to copy this value to here so we're going to put five and then we're going to decrement the a index and decrement merge index so like that we now b b index is greater so we're going to copy that to here we're going to get four we're going to decrement this we're going to decrement both of these pointers and so now we have that a a index is greater so we're going to copy three to here and decrement both of those like that two is greater we're going to copy that here we're going to decrement this and finally we're going to copy this to itself and now they're both and now this is going to be negative one and so we're going to just come down to here and B index is, so actually this one should have been decremented by one too. So these are both going to be negative one in this case, or actually, sorry, this, this one is going to be decremented to negative one. So we're going to break out before we actually do this, but this value is already in place. So that's going to give us the response we expect. That hopefully made sense. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below or on the blog, and I will see you again soon.